and Mochi, and welcome back to my creative world. So today we're talking about seasons and custom trees. So Minecraft has a lot of different biomes, which is awesome, but it doesn't really have seasons. So if you want to do a build that's uh, set in a specific season, you're probably going to have to build some of your trees and things yourself. So that's what this is about today. Now, of course, for something like uh, what's behind me right now, winter, you can use spruce and you could just plant spruce if you wanted to. Or you could go to a snowy biome and use what's there. But if you want to build a winter themed build in a place that's not already snowy, you're going to have to build some stuff yourself. So like I said, the first season we're going to look at is winter. And these are just a couple different uh, custom trees I did. So here's this one is uh, deciduous and so it has no leaves right now and here we have a really full uh, evergreen now most of the spruce are not going to be quite that full that you find around um, actually growing in Minecraft now I have not made it very symmetrical on purpose because they usually aren't very symmetrical so I thought this made it look a little more real and if you wanted something a little bit smaller, maybe like a much younger growth, you can work with the uh, fence posts instead of the logs. And it still looks very good as um, a trunk. And I've just gone around with the leaves in this cross kind of pattern. Alright, and this one is just meant to be, you know, a shorter little evergreen. Because you're going to want a variety of heights and stuff. This one here, I have, well, I was inspired by the loblolly pine, which is like one of my favorite trees. And I think it came out fairly good. Here we've used the, um, the oak logs and some fences. Now the loblolly pines have a much less conical shape like you would find in like your spruces and that kind of tree. They tend to be uh, much more sparse and they've got a trunk that just goes straight up and so that's kind of the look I was going for here and I'm I'm really happy with how it came out I hope you guys like it and then of course I just did some snow here on the ground and using the snow layers of course you can add a lot of different uh, depths of snow to break up the terrain a bit okay so next up is spring and we're starting here in the front with our pear tree now pear trees come in a lot of colors but purple's my favorite so I made a purple one and I've done a dark bark with it because I think it looks really good with the purple. This is, of course, fences. And over here, we have a cherry tree. And again, they come in multiple colors, but the pink is my favorite of those. And we've gone with a darker bark again because, like I said, I like the contrast. Back here, we have a big custom oak tree. And here in this branch that comes out, we've, of course, put a bee nest. So we've got our bees buzzing around, enjoying all of the spring flowers, which I think, you know, really, really gets across the idea of spring. <laughs> and here's just a little custom birch tree. And over here, I've built another little custom tree. And this one we've done with the lime green bull instead of leaves, because in spring you get that color a lot. And there's not really a leaf that's that color in the game. So it's got that bright spring green going on. And, of course, lots and lots of flowers. Okay, and next up is summer. And for summer, I've gone for a bunch of different palm trees. And over here, we have more your classic palm tree you might think of. We've used um, the, the dark oak here for coconuts and the composters to make the body of the tree. Okay, and this is a type of palm tree that is really wide at the bottom and then it gets thinner as it goes up. And we've done the leaves thicker on this one. And we've alternated which kinds of leaves we're using. And here we have a thinner palm tree, a thinner and taller palm tree. So uh, for this, I've used the walls, the uh, red sandstone walls. And again, we've used the dark oak for the coconuts. And back here is a little tiny palm tree where we've used fences for the trunk. <laughs> And of course, here we have our sand, because when I think of summer, I think of the beach. And we've mixed up our sand together, so it's not all one color that you're looking at, or one texture. 
And of course, we've used some stairs and some slabs and some full blocks and everything. So I think that uh, this gives you a better looking landscape. <laughs> And lastly, we have autumn, or fall, if you prefer. And we've got a bright orange tree over here. And we've got a bright yellow tree here. And of course, here you can see we've added the banners. I've also made it a little more sparse because I like the idea that it's uh, losing all those leaves. And here we have a red one, which is a, a smaller tree, probably a younger tree. We use the fences for the trunk and for the branches. And then we've got the, the various red blocks up here with the banners that make it a little bit of a more of a droopy tree and a little more full. And then back here we have an apple tree. Because in autumn, I don't know about you guys, I love to go apple picking. I think it's really fun. And so I figured a nice apple tree is also very autumnal. So there we go. And of course we've got our pumpkins back here and our little ferns. And here on the ground, we've got some carpets to look like the leaves falling out of the trees. And of course, podzel, because that has a good autumn look to it. Because when you go out hiking in the autumn, you've got the leaf mulch everywhere. And it's, it's you know, this gives it that, that autumn feel. <laughs> All right, so let's just go ahead and fly on by and take a quick look at these. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be all for today. I hope you liked looking at those and I hope maybe they'll help you out if you're trying to do a seasonal build. And uh, I hope you guys had fun today. I know I did and I'll see you next time. Bye!